This is my simulation of the three body problem in Web v Python. It's a fairly simple thing and it actually isn't realistic. This is not the standard three body problem. This is the three body problem with attractive and repulsive forces, which as far as I know, doesn't exist in nature, but it's a fun thing to mess around with nonetheless. And because it doesn't exist in nature, it's not 100% accurate to how the forces work in nature, but uh, just messing around with it is fun. This is in Trinket.io, uh, WebV Python. So I'll have a link to this, this website in the description and you can mess around with this exact code and you have that you can have access to this run button and run it and play with it yourself. You notice on page, I have a few buttons here and I have a few uh, sets of numbers that popped up when I clicked uh, run. I can stop it whenever I want. This slider corresponds to how many uh, quote unquote positively charged particles you want and how many quote unquote negatively charged particles you want over here. Uh, these numbers correspond to the initial uh, positions of each particle. Positive, this first um, positive corresponds to this particle. It tells you that this particle is positive. This one tells you that this particle was positive and this one tells you that this particle was negative. Now I have two options. Um, the way that this works is when I click run, it brings you to the starting menu and you have to place down the particles first. Once you place down the particles, you can run the simulation. But when you do so, you after you place the particles, you can actually add more particles. So here, if I want to add another negative particle, I can add another one. You can't subtract, unfortunately. It's a little annoying to do, but it shouldn't be a huge deal. You know, so you can add more and more. If you add again too many, it runs fairly slow. Um, but again, and now you have a whole bunch of different starting coordinates to mess around with. So that's the random thing. And you can see it's already running fairly slow with this few particles, but this is in uh, browser run JavaScript Python. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good for what it is. I mean, it's doing a lot of calculations at once. Now, as for, as for the, um, this not random button, I'll click play again. If I were to click not random, this would make the positions of the particles not random. Prior to this, all of the particle positions were random. And the only thing you could determine was the charge. If I click not random, now these sliders do nothing because you have to you have to input the specific position of each particle. And you do that over here in the code. I was trying to do it with um, with uh, interface here, but it's actually I found you can't input like arrays in GlowScript vPython. So it's actually just a lot easier to have you copy and paste into the code itself. And it's pretty simple. I've made it easier. So it's just arrays and I convert the arrays to vectors later on. So um, for example, I have a whole bunch of defaulted, um, you know, these are just sort of presets that I ran and I thought were kind of interesting. So it's defaulted when you get this program, when you click on the link, it's defaulted to the tries to steal your girl V2, uh, which You'll see why I named it that if you run it um, matrix, but it it um, it runs this here. And so basically all I would do is I would go up to this. And for example, if I wanted to re-put this in, I would go, okay, well, it's got positive, negative, positive. So I want to copy this first um, vector coordinate here into the positive, uh, this here, this positive particle positions matrix here. And I'd go back up again and I see, okay, where was I? I was at, I was at this one here. So I did this one and this one's negative. So I would copy it and then I would copy it into here. And then finally I would copy this into, this is positive. So I would copy it into the positive matrix Make sure to add the comma, and then this one I can delete because it wasn't there. And I guess so now this is technically just the first edition. But if I run this, now I would have to click not random. That would make it go to this specific configuration of particles. And then if I place the particles and run this, you'll see that um, we get this sort of oscillating system. And it's kind of like maybe this title isn't particularly great, but the version two one is a little better. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Um, and you'll see again, if I if I run this again, and I click not random, you'll see that they're placed in exactly the same positions. So that's the whole thing. There's this is very, very messy, very, very sloppy code, but I'm a physics major. So does it really matter?